Hello Star Fam! Today we are going to Pine Hill. Now we finally can talk to the guy in the Pine Hill stables. So we can start earning some money over there and we can get ourselves our next horse. And when we have got ourselves the next horse we can go up to the mountains and do the race which will give us uh, this medal. So the only races we have left is that one. There's the Pine Hill race with Mr. Sands. Yes, that sounds strange, I know. And a race in the Pine Hill Riding Hall. So we're gonna begin by going to the stables. I need some more money. Well, I'm gonna be fine with what I have right now. But I do want to start earning up more money. So I can buy some new gear, a new horse, uh, some new clothes. And uh, a lot of hay, so we can feed Horsey whenever Horsey is hungry. It's gonna be quite sad to leave Vossi because I have really enjoyed riding her. But it's good for the future anyway, because then I know that it's a good horse to ride whenever I want to play this game again. But I think next time I'm playing this game, I will pick the Gelderlander, because that horse I've been wanting to use for years and I've never done so. So of course I will use the Gelderlander sometime. <laughs> throughout my lifespan. <laughs> Let's take this way towards the stables. Just because I like never ever ride here. And we could go and grab one of the stars we're missing right now because one of them are over here. Or should we go there first? Yeah, I think we should. Just to have that out of the way. Because we will never ever go here again anyway. So we're gonna pass the stables and continue over here I think. Yeah. So over there you see that there's a little shack to stay overnight. And I think we're just gonna keep on going here. And open the map again to just see where we are. There we go. Meadow Valley. And we don't really have anything to do <laughs> over here. Because here... We're basically gonna have to turn around. I'm just gonna show you guys. So, I mean, if you are wondering what's gonna happen here. So basically here the river will continue down into what's today known as the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. And it will go out here to the Silversong River. And of course Veildale is over here. We cannot go to Veildale in this game. So yeah. Whoops. That was a very strange collision. Apparently I cannot go there. Thank you, game. Oh well, so now you've seen that at least. So, yeah. Back to the stables. We're gonna talk to the dude who runs it. We are going to do the stable chores once, I think. Before we head on towards new challenges. Because we're not gonna get an ourselves a new horse today. We are going to talk to some people. We might head back to Cape Point if we have the time, because I need to finish a quest there. But we're gonna see what we will have ta time for. Because I will not have the time to buy my new horse in this episode. I will need to do a lot of stable chores, and I don't want to bore you all to death by forcing you to watch it. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that off camera. But here he is, and I'm just gonna see here, we're gonna talk to someone here, and I just ran straight into a notice board, that's not very good. Mm -hmm. Hello there, this is the Human Resources Director. Okay, why is there an HR Director down here? That's interesting, and one thing that's Maybe even more interesting is that in the Swedish version of this game, he is not an HR director. He's a human robot. So, well, he's kind of HR. And I guess, I'm guessing that he's an HR director here because it could be human resources, like human robot. It could be a pun of it, of sorts. But he, I think it was called human robot 42 in, in the Swedish version. Well, not human robot, like the Swedish word for human robot. But still. Yeah, we must visit Mrs. Sands at Pine Hill Mansion in order to ride over there. We can.
can't do the tasks here right now, can we? No. Shame on you, Sandy. Oh well. So let's just fill up our water here. We can pass the shop, I think, and buy some more hay just to have stocked up on it. Then I'm guessing we will not have time to go to Keep Point today, but oh well, we can do that another time. We still will have to head west at some point because I need to go up the mountains to take the medals with Fripp on them. Because yes, that be Fripp. Why? I'm gonna tell you at a later time. For now, let's just head into the village. I'm gonna take the shortcut I always take. Did not take this way when we were here last time because we had the bridge over there. But every single time I go from the stables, I take this route. Because here you can go and then you jump. And over here is another shelter, so you can see overnight here. And now we're going to head to the shop here in the village so I can buy myself some new hay. Um, I'm gonna see what everything costs if we can buy something else today, but maybe not. Maybe I should save it for the horse. Um, so now let's just let's buy stuff. Yes. 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 Are those some good gloves? Fantastic gloves. Riding six. That's really good. What do we have today? Riding five. Not really worth it though. I should wait. I really should wait. What kind of saddle do I have? I think I have the best one. Yeah, can't get a better one, I think. That's true. And reins are the best, I guess? No, speed six. Speed four. Okay. Yes. Uh, now let's. Oh! Why is this view so bad? <laughs> So let's have a look here. So, oh, the best one is black. Then I don't need these ones anymore. Bye bye. Fantastic, good. That gives me something new to use. Um, professional blanket, price 45, strength 6. Maybe I don't need it right now. I think I'll be fine with the blue one. Uh, helmets, let's see here, helmet, riding six. Why is that a fantastic helmet and it's riding plus five? And this is a professional helmet which is good and it's riding plus six, I don't get it. Oh, this professional one riding plus eight. Uh-huh. Fantastic. Oh, it's a professional helmet, I'll get it. So the professional helmet, fantastic. I will get that at a later point because those two uh, plus stats might help. What do you have here? Um, good <laughs> I would like to have a look at these winter coats, but I can't really, so let's just not buy anything more right now. Uh, I need more money. It's so difficult being an adult, always looking for more money. <laughs> well, now we are going to head up to Pine Hill again. And we will talk to Mr. Sands. To see if he will be kind enough as to let us do the stable chores in his stable. So we can earn some good money and buy some new horses. So I can participate in all of his races. He has one race. Actually, but since he's the boss of this place, I'm guessing he's kind of the boss of the race in the riding hall too. Actually, there's two different sorts of races in the riding hall. But I'm gonna get back to that one later. So here we are again. This place does not look as... I think it looks better in SSL. But it's still quite a cool place. I love Pine Hill. Oh! I'm having difficulties with the collisions today. Hello Sandy, what up? Yes, he's Mr. Sands. We've been talking to him before. We want to participate in the Decker Horse Show and we are going to somehow convince him that we are worthy for that. So he asks if we can ride. Well, yeah, I'm on my horse. So we're going to try to uh, 
uh, complete the racetrack around the mansion and beat the time he has set. Uh, and of course, this is a race which will be available as a race where we can win medals. But before we do anything, I'm just gonna care for Vossi quickly to ensure that we will survive this because I think it's fine when we do it here as a training thing. But I do think that. Um, We need to just take care anyway, because this track is difficult when you're at the gold medal. But four minutes should be fine. It should be perfectly fine. And also, I hope that I will be able to get my new horse soon. Because that would be a, a huge help. But the speed is very good on Vossi anyway, so... But sometimes I want to go one way here and I should go another way. I don't know where I'm supposed to go now. I'm going down here. <laughs> so yeah, this is quite a long track, so I'm just going to speed it up a tiny bit. Basically, the biggest challenge in this race is to find the right way to go. Because sometimes you think you're going one way, but it's just that you don't really see the next checkpoint, so you are riding in the wrong direction. Uh, and usually, I like for now, I haven't played this track in many years, so I'm a bit like, I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to go, but I think we'll be fine. Oh yeah, this is one of the you know the obstacles I can never cross properly. <laughs> that one's always in the way, and I don't think I've ever been able to actually jump it. Here, I think we can go this way. Yep, save some time. And you see the tracks over there are kind of misleading. So you better try to make sure that you know where you're going. Like here, I would love to go up there instead, but I know I'm going this way. I think we are closing to the finish line. I thought that was the last one. <laughs> Here we go. We did it in almost three minutes with a max time of four. So he's not really convinced. Thank you. So we can do the bronze right now. Don't want to though. I would like to have my new horse first. Uh, let's go back to stables. Mr. Jill again. Okay. So that's the HR director, I guess. In Swedish, he would have said human robot 42. <laughs> I think it's 42 because there's two human robots around. And I'm guessing the other one is called a Mr. Something 2 in English because I know that's a big copy change that I really reacted to when I played this game in English the first time. Because I was like, okay, it's gonna be human robot. And then I looked at the copy, I was like, what? It's not like you think that one of the good old dark or robots would be the HR director and keeping track of everyone, making sure that everyone has a good time at work.
I love Pine Hill though. I would love to have this place in Star Stable Online. I think this is such a cool village. But I think it would, of course, be way more epic if it was in SSO. Yay! But, well, I guess it would be more houses, but I'm not sure because I don't really know the purpose behind the, like, landscape planning in SSO. Uh, and all of the villages in this game are quite spread out. Especially in comparison to the Autumn Riders, where all the houses were quite close together. Uh, here, everyone has a really big front lawn. <laughs> but now I can start taking care of my horse over here. So we're going to do all the stable chores just to see how much we learn. Hi there. So now I can check the... Pl is it placard or placard? I guess placard. And perform as many chores as I can, and after that he can grant me access to indoor riding ring. Or did I say indoor? It's indoor. They did say management. The management, oh wow. Talk about a corporate owned stable. Corporate. That's the word, right? <laughs> oh yeah, and now I'm trying to press X because I'm like, oh you're gonna dismount now. And then I realized that no, I'm not playing Star Stable Online. There's no hotkeys in this game! Uh, well, of, the only exception is M for map. You know, that was the only reason why I found the map as quickly as I did when I started playing Star Stable Online. Because I never played odd other games as a kid, I only played horse games. So I basically didn't know what hotkeys were. So I just knew that if I pressed M in SSO, the map would appear. <laughs> but also there weren't really that many... Uh, hotkeys around back then. It was like when Star Stable Online opened, it was like the map, the inventory, I think it was the quest log, the character sheet, the friend list. That was probably it. And then, of course, other things have been added as um, the dismount button, the place pets, the photo mode, the journal. I love the journal. And the journal is kind of resembling, like, at least look-wise, I think it resembles the kind of journaly thing you had in... Um, Starshine Legacy, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, where anytime you got a quest, instead of having, like, this little sort of loggy thing, you had uh, a bigger, like, journal-like book where you could see the quest you were doing at the moment. But of course you couldn't really accept quests the way you do here, but you had like one quest at a time you had to finish before you could get going with other things in the game, because that was a very linear game. This is more of an open world game, but of course this is not open world as we know it today. And also this is a very old game. This is At the time of recording this game is almost 10 years old. No, it's 11 years old at the time of this recording, I think. 10 or 11. So, well, it's a very old game. I still love it though. Like this is not the best game ever made. Starship Online is. <laughs> but I really, really enjoy this game. I like it way more now than I did as a kid, simply because I disliked the snow so much when I was younger. I can manage it way better today. <laughs> Here we go. So we had 915 stable points right now. Let's talk to HR director. Task completed, payment delivered, yada yada. Continue working, that's nice. So, we got... Uh, I do not know how to count, but we got about 500 stable points. No, more. Why can I not count? This is... F yeah, this is 500. Yeah. So, I need to do this a great many more times. But now we can access the Pine Hill Riding Arena. We could get there pre like earlier. But I didn't want to because we didn't have anything to do there. But now we'll meet Mr. Peebles, who will assist us with any questions we might have. So let's head up there to have a look at Mr. Peebles. And also we won't, will not have time to do that much more today because the sun is already setting. So let's head up to the writing hall and finish up out, up there. We will also meet yet another familiar face up there, which will be quite interesting, I believe. Or, well, maybe not that much in interesting today, <laughs> but at least you will get a look around and see what we have to expect for maybe next time. 
I think I will do my best to prep for our next purchase of a horse. Because I'm very excited for my new horse. It's not like Volsi has been a really good horse, but I want some better stats before we can get into the really cool stuff. Also, I think we have like four or five episodes left of this game until before we're done. This game is a bit shorter than the Autumn Riders, mainly because of the fact that this area is so much smaller, so we don't have to ride such huge distances every time we need to do stuff. So it's a bit more manageable to play in a short amount of time. As you can see, Voss is not feeling very well, but we're not going to ride anything more today. We're just going to talk to Mr. Peebles. Maybe we should do his trial once, though. Here's the Pine Hill Indoor Riding Ring. New star. I have no idea which one it is. <laughs> Something around here. So as you can see, we only have two stars left. I have no idea what one of them are. Uh, whoops. So here we are. And here's the familiar face. With our horse. Here's Sabine with Vossi. Hello there. And Sabine was not a part of the previous game, right? We had Jessica there. Yeah, Sabine was not doing it. Oh well. Here's Mr. Peebles. Welcome! Now we can use the riding arena for our training. So, should we try the first trial just because? Now, when we're here. This challenge is called the Pine Hill Grand Prix. So let's try it out and see what happens. And of course this is just the first trial. And after this I can earn medals here. And hopefully I will not take every single fence down with me throughout this course. First one is over there. Luckily this is not a time trial. Or well, luckily, I'm not sure if, about that, because it's going to be more difficult for me to survive this if I get a pole down. But so far, so good. I quite like this one. I think it's a good race. I just never remember where I'm supposed to go after this one. There I'm supposed to go. And of course, I haven't played this in a great many years, so I'm a bit like, where am I supposed to go again? Somewhere around here, I know I'm gonna have a sharp turn to the right. I think it's after this one. Yep. Perfect! We did it! And sun is setting, so this is perfect for us to leave off today. We have successfully completed the Pine Hill Grand Prix! Nice! So, we... We'll of course return again, and we just got a text message! So, Mr. Sands would like us to meet Sabine right here! Because apparently, the competition for the Pine Hill placement in the Decker Horse Show stands between us and her. Which isn't very good, because we know what Sabine usually thinks about other people. <laughs> Thank you for your text message, Mr. Sands. I have no idea how you got my number, and I think you're kinda creepy. Uh, so, I hope he never calls again. <laughs> So Sabine will talk to another time because she will challenge us to a race. So for now we're just going to head out in the snow and end off for today. Thank you all so much for joining me. Next time we're going to buy ourselves a new horse and we're going to try out some different trials around the Winter Valley. And yeah, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to see more horse games coming every single week. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it and leave a comment if you want to start a discussion. Maybe you want some... N leave some name suggestions for my upcoming horse or something. But yeah, that's it for today. So I hope to see you all next time.